If you are someone that needs to find the color code of an image or of really anything online, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Number one, you need to have Chrome installed as your browser. Okay, forget about Safari, forget about Internet Explorer, just trust me on this. If you're trying to get better with content and creating content, get Chrome, all right? So step number one, get Chrome, and you can just simply go to chrome.google.com. All right, step two is going to be downloading an extension for Chrome called Color Pick Eyedropper. All you need to do is go to chrome.google.com forward slash web store, and it's gonna bring you to the exact page I'm looking at right now. You're gonna to wanna to search for Color Pick Eyedropper. There it is right there, and you're gonna to wanna to install this one. Now you see it says added here because I already have it installed on my browser. For you, you're probably not gonna see that. So you download that, and then what you're gonna see is that you're gonna have it right here in the top right of your browser. If you don't see that, it may be because it's not currently pinned to the browser. In other words, it's not really there all the time for you to see. But not to worry, all you need to do is click this little puzzle icon thingy, and you wanna make sure that the pin is highlighted. See if I click it now, it, it's gone, but if I click it again, it comes back for me, okay? So, let's try this out, because that's what we're here for, right? So let's go to my favorite site for looking up photos, unsplash.com. And we're gonna look up, let's find out the color of guacamole. You know what I mean? Who doesn't love guac? All right, so here you go. Here's an image right here. All I'm gonna do is go to this color pick eyedropper, click it once, drag my mouse over it, and there you go. All right, so the first number represents the hex color code, and the second one represents the RGB code. They're pretty much the same thing. I wouldn't really get caught up into which one is better, hex or RGB. Some people are gonna say RGB, some are gonna say hex. Kind of like chocolate and vanilla ice cream. Everyone has an opinion, just do whatever's right for you. But anyways, that is how you find any color anywhere online using one simple extension. And it only took a matter of minutes, all right? So I hope this was helpful. If you learned anything new, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new, watching this video right now, make sure to subscribe as well so you can stay on top of all the tutorials I'm gonna start pushing out on how to create more content, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.